What's up everybody, I'm Hoops and Hip Hop. So other than Ultra Sun and Moon, I think it's safe to say that the thing that is talked about the most in the Pokemon community currently is Ash Ketchum. It's understandable since he is the main character of the anime, but despite him being talked about so much, there are still some things about him that I'm willing to bet that you don't know. And every one of the things that I'm going to be talking about today are pretty dang cool. So without further ado, here are six amazing facts that you don't know about Ash Ketchum. Okay, this first one is something I've never seen reported anywhere and I figured it out myself, so I'm pretty sure you won't know this one. So as we all know, Pikachu has a pretty funny love affair going on with Ketchup. He is shown to be absolutely in love with it on several occasions, and even though this seems completely random, this could very well be a direct reference to Pikachu and Ash's relationship. The episode Showdown at Dark City is one of the episodes where we see Pikachu display his affection for Ketchup, however something also happens to Ash in this episode. Ash, Misty, and Brock all have to give themselves fake names in the episode, and the one that Ash receives is Tom Ato. This is obviously a pun of tomato, and given that his last name Ketchum is just one letter away from Ketchup, if you put the two together it creates Tomato Ketchup, which might explain why Pikachu loves it so much. One of the things that people have always wondered about Ash, aside from whatever those marks are on his face, is what the heck the symbol means that was on his original hat. Well, it actually has been confirmed to be a Pokemon League Expo hat, with the strange green symbol actually being a stylized L. Only 100 of these hats were given away, and Ash sent in quote unquote about a million postcards in order to win one. Misty actually tried to win one as well, but apparently she only sent in one postcard. Ash has always been compared to Red as a sort of counterpart, and fans have tried to connect the two for years. Could they be brothers? Is Red Ash's long lost father? Well, both of those things might not be true, but there is a fascinating piece of evidence to suggest they might have originally had a closer connection. In some early concept art of Ash done before the anime's release, he is seen wearing a hat that is nearly identical to the one that Red wore in his art for Red and Blue. Now this could have been just a change in hats, but it also might indicate that Ash was originally intended to be much more closely related to Red than he is now. So most people know that Ash was originally voiced by Veronica Taylor. Well, during the Adventures in Voice Acting documentary, she actually revealed some more interesting details about the early concept design for Ash. In the documentary, Taylor stated that when she auditioned for the role of Ash, he was known as Casey at the time. Coincidentally, or perhaps not coincidentally, this same name would later be given to a recurring character from the Johto arc of the anime. The character Casey that does appear in the anime is very likely an homage to Ash's early concept and design, because she uses a lot of his unused design traits. There's the name that we just discussed, and she also sports a hat with a lightning bolt on it, which Ash also had in his early concept art. She is also from New Barktown, which is a starting town in the games just like Pallet Town. Last but not least, and also from the Adventures in Voice Acting documentary, Veronica Taylor stated that after she was officially hired for the role of Ash and recorded her lines for the pilot, she was actually fired because four kids wanted to hire a child to do the role instead. It isn't specified what happened after this, but obviously that idea was rejected since Taylor did in fact retain her role as Ash, and that's something that could have very easily changed Pokemon forever. And those were six amazing facts that you probably didn't know about Ash Ketchum. If you're wondering why I went with six, well, I wasn't able to quite get to ten, but I obviously got more than five, and I didn't want to cut any of these facts since they were all so good. If you did happen to enjoy the video, make sure you leave a like and let me know your thoughts on these facts down in the comments below. Also, if you're new, make sure to subscribe because I upload great Pokemon content every Tuesday and Saturday, and also be sure to check out my Patreon for some awesome exclusive content. Anyways, with all of that being said, I will be back with another video soon, and until then, as always, I'll smell you guys later.